Coming up, we take a look at local filmmakers' latest picture that's creating conversations about diversity. Plus, the latest in the investigation into cars stolen from a used car lot early Tuesday morning. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. The nonprofit Hazard Film Project is centered on advocating for diversity and inclusion in film. This week they began production on their short film, Hazard. Actor Nicholas Sims plays the lead role of Marcel in the film. He plays a father who's taking his family on their first ever road trip to the Grand Canyon. On the way, they're stopped and harassed by a police officer. My personal experience, I, I've, been, I've been pulled over and, you know, normally the cops are supposed to go through the correct um, mandates to pat you down, this, that, and third, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Sims is from southern Alabama. He says he hopes this film can open people's eyes and help do away with stereotypes. They're looking to finish production by the end of the week. Here's a look at the storm that moved through parts of western Kelloland last night. These videos capture lightning and uh, they're lighting up the landscape. You can briefly see lightning moving from cloud to cloud. If you have pictures or a video of the weather in your area, we'd love to see them. You can send them to you, share at Kelloland.com. And now let's send it over to meteorologist Scott Mund for a check of our current conditions. Scott? Well, it's another warm start to the day. Temperatures are in the 60s and 70s, and that covers much of the area this morning. And these temperatures will continue to climb. You know, the storm complex that moved across western South Dakota uh, stayed together during the overnight hours in the central Kettleland. But this morning, a lot of that is falling apart. And we are looking at mostly sunny skies for many in Kettleland for this afternoon. And we'll go with numbers uh, into the 80s and 90s for the next several days. We do cool a little to the 80s uh, Friday into the first half of the weekend, but back to the 90s for Sunday and into next week as we are looking at uh, mostly dry skies. We'll continue to watch that chance Thursday night into Friday morning for rain. More details on the Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast with Brian coming up. Thanks, Scott. Sioux Falls police are trying to figure out who stole several vehicles from a used car lot Tuesday morning. Officers say the burglary happened at 1.30 a.m. near the intersection of Rice Street and Cliff Avenue. Investigators say someone broke through the glass door and stole several car keys before taking off with the vehicles. Initially, there were four cars or four vehicles that were stolen, but the officers were able to find two of those. No arrests have been made. Clemens says there may have been surveillance video nearby to help identify the people involved. An Oneida man accused of raping three runaway girls is facing even more charges. 73-year-old Stephen West is now charged with human trafficking. He appeared in court Tuesday. Court documents say West arranged to meet the girls near a church last month. The teens told law enforcement they drove them to his home and gave them an electric razor to cut their hair. He then reportedly performed sexual acts with them, gave them money, and brought them to a gas station. A Groton, South Dakota man has been identified in a deadly crash north of Aberdeen. Shortly after 11 o'clock Friday night, a motorcycle was heading south on 387th Avenue. A pickup heading north on the same road crossed the southbound lane and collided with the motorcycle. The driver of the motorcycle, 27-year-old Casey Colm, was taken to an Aberdeen hospital where he later died. The driver of the pickup, 19-year-old Carson Manu, was not hurt. Charges are pending against him. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, we have much to discuss. First of all, this is the severe weather outlook for tomorrow night into Friday morning. Initially, there will be storms that will develop along the Wyoming, South Dakota border, Spearfish, Rapid City, Buffalo. Now, any mode of severe weather is possible in the beginning of this. So keep that in mind with large hail, damaging wind, isolated tornado threat with any individual supercell structures that develop. These things will probably congeal into a line of storms as we have a, a cold front that's going to work its way east. So we kind of transition into a slight risk zone for pier. The, the severe weather threat could extend to the James Valley, but then once we get to Sioux Falls, it's in that marginal category. So we'll still continue to evaluate that. Short term today, it's hot. It's a bit breezy. This wind does crank up a bit during the afternoon, especially toward Aberdeen and Pier. 
Uh, 95 to close to 100 degree temperatures once again. We may flare a storm around Chamberlain. There is that uh, signature showing up again in Gregory County, Tripp County. Keep an eye on where those things might uh, form. And if they do, you know, there it's got plenty of heat in the day, so there could be an isolated severe weather report with that. But there's a much more organized uh, round coming in from the Black Hills. You see that tomorrow late and into Friday morning. By the time it gets to Sioux Falls, it'll probably be a broken line of thunderstorms, so not everybody gets the rain that they want, but there will be some areas that get that rain, and certainly we'll watch for that. That's a big story. 90s today, 95 Sioux Falls, and as we jump into your seven day, we get that one consolidated shot at rain Thursday night, Friday morning, and then after that, the uh, air becomes pretty dry for June. So it'll be in the upper 80s to low 90s this weekend and we'll continue 90s next week. Maybe not quite as hot, lower 90s instead of mid and upper 90s, but it's still 90 degree weather. And Aberdeen's in the same boat there too. For now, we're going to leave the rain chance alone. We'll continue to see if something will pop up, but it doesn't look like the overall organization to that is just where it needs to be at. And Pier, after that shot at rain tomorrow night into Friday morning, then we'll be dry as well for at least a little while and let that air mass recover. But it's uh, getting hot again in the Black Hills, 92 by Monday, 93 Tuesday. Check out details with the Storm Center update at Kevoland.com.